presently the current time is probably the best time for women to be in tech digital marketing is is another space where they can really excel Hi everyone welcome to this women's day special episode of TUI Business Bites Today we have with us Priya Kanduri she's CTO and Vice President of Cyber Security Services at Happiest Minds Technologies and she's going to talk about women in the field of technology challenges opportunities and more Hi Priya welcome to the show Hi Smriti thank you so much for having me Thank you for joining us on this Women's Day special episode. Uh, my first question to you is that you have been in the field of technology for a very long time. So, what has been your experience about women in the field of tech? I am personally very happy with the journey, uh, Smriti. It's been a long journey of twenty-five years. I started as a graduate right out of campus, and and it's been fantastic the last twenty-five years. And presently, the current time. is probably the best time for women to be in tech there has never been a better time there have been challenges along the journey uh, you know diversity and women in tech have have been far and few back in those years compared to how it is now uh, but overall it's definitely the best field to be uh, in for women and that's what i uh, kind of encourage and recommend to all the next generation women and students and my my nieces everybody that i'm aware of um, i tell them to get into tech because now is the time to be there there's so much more revolution that's going to happen in the future tech is going to be used in more creative ways than ever imagined uh, in the past so absolutely the perfect time best time to be involved here and be part of the transformation and change and evolution you spoke about certain challenges in the current scenario are there some challenges that you think that women should be ready to overcome there yeah women will always have challenges because of what we are and you know what our um, uh what our nature is you know one of the things that has been there before and is there now and will continue to stay is definitely the work life uh, balance we always have this constant struggle no matter where you are working which position you are holding what designation you are holding there's this constant struggle that you have with yourself that are you doing the best at work uh, while you know being the best at home as well being there for your loved ones as well that's a constant dilemma that we always face and i personally think it's it's a lot more for women than men because men were traditionally expected to work expected to be out and provide for the family so it's a natural instinct and they don't have to feel guilty about uh, you know being as much there for for the families this is my 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 personal feeling but women always have that constant uh, struggle and then there are also you know challenges that we face in terms of um, um, lack of mentorship uh, lack of mentorship lack of the kind of support system that you need socially as well as personally. personally professionally you also have challenges still certain amount of challenges that women face uh, with gender uh, gender bias certain roles them uh, women not being considered those challenges continue to be there we don't always try to stand out in the crowd that's just because of the way we are uh, the way we are brought up and the way we have been conducting ourselves in public and mm-hmm. that's where it all starts some of these challenges are are still around and they still have to overcome those and you spoke of a lot of opportunities in the current scenario for women in the field of tech so if i have to get into uh, or if women have to get into the field of technology what are the streams that are best suited for them right now um there are plenty of fields especially fields where you require um, a lot of interpersonal skills uh, communication skills leadership skills creative thinking those fields are best suited for women for example automation is one area which is which is really going to dominate the future of tech and women can do really well there um analytics is another space and once again you know the whole world future is going to be all divided by um, uh, ruled by predictive analytics and for forecastive analytics there's a lot of scope for women to get into those fields and that kind of thinking they'll have to start they, they'll have to cultivate from their graduation days but then that's one of the fields that's really good for women another field definitely is digital marketing you know gone are the days of printing and any other kind of media and it's all digital now i have once again personally seen women really excelling in that space and and that's once again going to be the future of any marketing digital 
marketing is there is another space where they can really excel and a good number of uh, managerial positions uh, leadership and managerial positions are really good especially in tech uh, for women because that requires a lot of interaction interacting with the customers interacting with your teams bringing it all together keeping the uh, keeping the morale up you know those and those positions will become more and more critical as we move forward because of the uh, because of the global global nature of work because of all the issues and pandemic equivalent um, issues that we've been going through these positions are going to be very critical and the last field that i want to highlight is uh, is the field that i have been working in i belong to cyber security industry and i've been doing work in cyber security space for the last 25 years and once again i personally think it's a very good area for women to be uh, engaged in because it's very it's very challenging there are not many women in this field we encourage more and more women to come and participate and and that could be a really interesting field for women as well because that also is going to transform into many more ways in future uh, cyber forensics investigation there are a lot more areas that are going to emerge and another area that uh, that uh, that women really should take serious and get into okay uh, you've been in the tech world so do you think that uh, the glass ceiling has been broken in that field it has uh, smriti maybe not as much progress that some of us would have liked to see for example but it's definitely been uh, broken if you look at the uh, latest uh, fortune 500 uh, list published about 10% of those fortune 500 companies are led by uh, uh, women which has which is very good progress very good statistic to see um and uh, and also as of today uh, about 20% of uh, cios in the top 2000 companies are women which is 20% um but then look at it the other way it's this list these lists were being published for the past 50 plus years it's taken 50 years to see 10% women in those positions Right. So glass ceiling is broken but not fast enough right we would have liked to see a lot more progress there and if we go at this current pace it will take 100 years for women to be uh, be holding equal number of positions at the leadership uh, levels so it's definitely broken some of us personally i don't see the glass ceiling um, i have had i've been fortunate enough to be associated with the right companies and right supervisors and right management to be given equal opportunities but that's not always the case for everybody and these statistics talk about it it may not always be the employers uh, uh, share alone women also have to come forward and take those challenging positions and want to be there and that kind of ecosystem has to be there many things don't always come together and the statistics show it so glass ceiling doesn't exist anymore I um, mean, nobody is stopping women from getting there, but there are different other forms of obstacles that exist, which still prevent uh, women to take up as many leader positions as leadership positions as required. So, yeah, a different kind of ceiling that stops us. Okay, and what would be your advice to women entrepreneurs? Um, see, I about eleven years ago, I joined a startup, which is, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it is entrepreneurship, but then being being associated with a startup, um, in the initial days, it has its own challenges when you are trying to position your services, trying to uh, speak to customers. So those challenges at a at a much bigger level is what would still be faced by women entrepreneurs. But uh, once again, now is uh, no now is the best time than ever before to be a women entrepreneur. Um, I, if I have to give an advice i would say once again strong online presence is what they will have to focus on which is typically not a strong forte for women i mean we don't give as much importance to social networking online presence um, uh, digital real estate capture these are some of the areas that we don't focus enough but then if you want to uh, if you want to do a startup these are very important so that's one area to definitely focus on and a strong network building a strong network especially a network of promoters and investors and um, allies those are very very important once again more important if you want to do a, a startup definitely and uh, it's it's not going to be easy there will be a lot of rejections a lot of uh, you know things not going well in your way so constant uh, perseverance and perseverance and staying uh, strong is is the kind of attitude that they have to build and most importantly definitely find out your sweet spot 
spot and go to market have a very clear vision of what your products are going to be how different are they from the others what is your go to market strategy usp uh, what are your long term goals and how they are divided into multiple shorter term goals these are very very important uh, for a for a startup and more so for women because uh, you know the 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 reception for a for a woman um, entrepreneur isn't going to be as easy in the market as for their uh, male counterparts so um, having specific focus on it and bringing the usps of being a woman you know you're more creative you're more innovative bring them into the forefront is what i would say